superintendent's report, Dr. Phillips. Thank you, uh, board president, uh, members of the board. And I'd just like to acknowledge uh, Valley High School one more time because, like I said, they have uh, achieved this, this status and this award four times. I've been in this district for five years, and they have been at, up at bat for four times out of those five years. So extraordinary program. Uh, menus will be incorporated. Um, in, in that school particularly, but maybe even some of the other schools. And now that team heads off to Washington, D.C. to compete nationally. So kudos again, but to all the schools and all the programs that we have uh, recognized tonight, thank you, board, uh, for allowing that to happen. At our last board meeting, I reported that Thorpe and Muir Fundamental Schools uh, were both selected as California Distinguished Schools for 2018. And on May 3rd, they were both honored for, um, by, for being the top elementary schools in the state. And they've demonstrated outstanding educational programs and practices. And so I had an opportunity to attend a portion of the recognition ceremony at the Disneyland Hotel uh, with Principal Lancido of Thorpe and Principal Martin of Muir to accept um, the honor on behalf of the district. So congratulations to both of those school communities for repeat honors because this is not the first time they've seen th that level of honor. Again, congratulations to Principal Jeff Bishop of Santa Ana High School. Uh, he received the AXA Administrator of the Year Award, Secondary Administrator of the Year Award. He was recognized last night at the AXA Awards Dinner for his longstanding and unwavering commitment and support to our students. Uh, we have many innovative programs at Santa Ana High School and many accomplishments, and you've heard a few tonight. Uh, and they were definitely well deserved. Board member Palacio was able to attend as well as some of our cabinet and many school administrators were there to support as well as Jeff's family. It was really a great evening. Uh, we had a lot of fun and, and Jeff really brought down the house talking about all the great things that were happening in Santa Ana uh, Unified School District. So thank you, uh, Principal Bishop. We will have the opportunity tomorrow uh, and Thursday to recognize our Educators of the Year and Classified um, Employees of the Year at our annual Classified and Educator of the Year uh, celebrations. Th these celebrations will happen at Santa Ana High School, um, and each school has selected an educator and classified staff member that will be recognized for tireless commitments uh, to our students. These individuals are reflective of the caliber of employees that we have throughout the district. And everyone here and, and everyone at home is welcome to attend these celebrations as we um, celebrate with our amazing colleagues. So um, give a round of applause to our employees of the year. On another note, 119 girls from Carr, McFadden and Spurgeon Intermediate Schools participated in Catalyze Science. It's a hands-on science and technology event at Cal State Fullerton. The lessons were designed to increase students' awareness of careers in STEM. Students learned about cell division, adaptation in predators and prey, the engineering design of airplanes, ecosystems, and heredity, as well as mutations. Cal State Fullerton selected these specific schools because of the district's long-standing collaboration with the university. Also, I had the pleasure of attending the 47th Annual Awards Ceremony, Change of Command, and Pass and Review for Santa Ana High School NJROTC program. It was an opportunity to celebrate the tremendous achievements of our students who participated in this program. Our students continue to perform and outperform their counterparts in other districts, and they demonstrate with, uh, with the good support and strong instruction that they're receiving that they can achieve at top levels. Congratulations to each student that was recognized and to Commander Osik for his leadership in making the NJROTC program a national model program, and to the entire team at Santa Ana High School, as well as those participants and instructors from Century and Valley High Schools who also participate in the program. So congratulations to that whole brigade. We continue to have serious discussions and meetings on the homeless situation in Orange County and how it impacts our district. 
Recently, Board President Amesco and I were able to meet with the City Manager, Raul Godinez, on strategies to address this issue. Our goal is to make sure that our children and our families, families are safe. And it is important that we keep the lines of communication open and that we are at the table when the discussions are happening in the, within the community because it does impact our students. We will continue to keep the dialogue going as the board looks for the best solutions and the ways to support uh, our students in this issue. We have a few agenda items on, the, on tonight's docket that we want to highlight for the public. The ratification of tentative agreement with the Santa Ana Educators Association for the 2017-18 and 2018-19 school years, as well as the approval of implementation of the Public Agency Retirement Services Retirement Plan for eligible certificated non-management SAEA employees for the 17-18 fiscal year. Tonight, we'll also discuss Board Policy 7310 that addresses how we name schools and facilities within our district. And as we continue our efforts to market our schools and, and to tell the good stories that we've heard tonight, as well as increase enrollments, we will have many schools canvassing throughout the city on this Saturday, May 12th at 8.30 a.m. through 10.30 uh, a.m. as well, not p.m. These have been extremely successful events, and they are becoming more popular with our schools. Uh, we're, being, we're able now to target neighborhoods and target areas where we think that we can be more successful so that they're not just massive canvassing events. They're um, m much more strategic. And many of our schools have reported that they canvass frequently after school and on Saturdays outside of the district canvassing dates. So the canvassing provides our schools the opportunity to have face-to-face -face conversations and dialogues with parents and share the unique qualities that, are, that they can um, have for their students in our schools. Lastly, we've been working diligently to bring you highlights from, from uh, a school every time we meet. We want to make sure that um, we are telling our story in multiple diff different types of ways, and tonight, we're able to feature Lincoln Elementary School. Please take a look at the screen. At Lincoln Elementary School, we prepare our students to be successful 21st century learners. We ensure that students have a variety of opportunities to develop reading foundations read across the curriculum and become lifelong readers and learners. Me ha impactado mucho porque desde que yo me he involucrado en la escuela, mi hijo ha subido bastante, gracias a Dios. Eh, tiene buenas calificaciones, tiene una autoestima muy bien, gracias a Dios. Se siente seguro de sí mismo, se siente seguro de venir a la escuela Lincoln Elementary. Here at Lincoln, we have a phenomenal um, staff of teachers and we also have a great support staff who work together to make sure that all of our students have a positive learning environment. My personal goal here at Lincoln is to work with our students very closely to create a classroom environment and a school-wide environment where the kids feel accepted and feel like they're part of a family here at school and helping those students to get where they need to be and to love learning. My name is Jonathan Valente. And the reason I like to come to the school because when I see parents around the campus, it makes me feel safe and it makes me feel proud of myself because my dad, he has been working for schools like that for four years in a row and he still helps the school. I also feel proud of myself because schools like Cancel and Nuzelado, they bought our Chromebooks and our tablets so we can use SC Math, Lexia, AR, and Maya on the school campus. I feel like I'm learning every second and I feel safe. Um, I also feel like I'm having fun, which I think um, is hard for other schools to make other students feel, but that's how Lincoln students feel here. The kindergartners use technology to learn their ABCs and their numbers and how to cooperate with other students. Fifth and fourth graders use technology to do assignments. They gave us Chromebooks so we can take them home. Um, the Chromebooks 
if we have homework to do, we can take them home and do it there. We are proud of having been recognized by the California Department of Education uh, for our excellent implementation of our ROAR reading program. ROAR stands for Read On Achieve Results. And our students have read over 45,000 books to be able to qualify for this recognition. We are proud of our students roaring for college and careers. <laughs>